Okay, now what I wanna do next is create a link for the profile. So the message has an author attribute, which contains the author of the message itself. What I wanna do is add another link with the rel as profile, and the link being the resource URL for the profile resource that corresponds to this author. So in this case, the author is Kaushik, so the link will be messenger slash web API slash profiles slash Kaushik. Now, how do I figure out what the profile URL is? I'm gonna add another method over here. So let's say I, um, Duplicate this, I say get URL for URI for profile. Let's say I have a method like this, right? And I'm gonna call this profile. What's gonna be the logic for this method? I added a method here. Now, how do I figure out what the URL for the profile is? Well, it turns out it's very similar. So you have the URI info and the message instance I'm gonna get the base URI builder because I need that to start off with. And add a path segment, but this time I'm not gonna send the message resource. I'm gonna send here the profile resource because I want the URI that's mapped to the profile resource at the class level, which is slash profiles. So I get that and add it to the path. Next, I get the author because that's gonna be the next part of the URI, right? So I do a dot path and I pass in message.getAuthor. And then I do a dot build. Now this is gonna give me the URI. And now I'm gonna do a URI dot to string. And well, there you go, this should work. All right, let's test this out quickly. I'm gonna make the call here again. Now you have the profile rel attribute with the profile resource. So this should make sense. Basically, the path method can take in the resource class, right? So you do a resource dot class, and this is gonna give the path that's annotated at the class level. Pretty straightforward so far. Now let's look at comments. This is where things get a bit tricky. Now let's say I wanna add a URI for all the comments for this message. I wanna to send to the client a URI where they can get all the comments for any given message. So once the user has a message representation, they can just follow that link to get all the comments for that message, all right? Now I'm gonna implement this method, create method. Okay, I'm gonna copy the same code and let's see if we can make tweaks to this. The base URI builder, which is fine, I'm gonna call comment resource, right? Just like you did a profile resource, there's gonna be a comment resource. And we don't need the author segment over here. So we remove that line and do a dot build and we're gonna return this. Well, this should work, right? Well, unfortunately it doesn't and I'll tell you why. Make a get request again. Now look what happens. It just ends at web API. What's happening here? The problem is, Comment resource is a sub resource. If you look at the comment resource and look at what's annotating the class level, it's slash, right? So that's what this code is adding over here. So what happens over here is you get the base URI builder, add to the path slash, which is the comment resource class level annotation, and do a dot build, which is what you get over here, which is just web API. This will not do. What we need is something similar to what Jersey does when it maps to comment resource, right? First it gets the path for the message resource, then the path for the get comment resource method, and then the path for the comment resource. Here it happens to be just slash, but then you get the idea. So you need to go through all those different levels to get the comment resource URI. How do you get that? Well, let's try the message resource path we know that that part is very simple. It's message resource. So I'm gonna add that over here. Base URI builder dot get message resource. It's gonna give slash messages. Now I need to add the path to this method. How do I get hold of a URI that's mapped to a method? Well, there is a way to do that. There is a path method which takes in, if you look at, a, if you look at the signature for the path, so here's a signature, which takes in two arguments. One is the resource class name, and one is the method name, which has the path annotation. 
So this is perfect for what we need, right? So I'm gonna pass in the resource class name, which is again, message resource dot class. Yar and caps. And then the second argument is the name of the method from which you need to pull the path annotation. So here, the name of the method is get comment resource. So I'm gonna pass in that, okay? Now I do a dot build. I could, of course, add a path to the comment resource just in case, you know, it's a slash here, but that could change later, so it doesn't hurt to add this. So this is basically what JAXRS does, right? So it gets the message resource in the class level, then at the method level, and the sub resource level, and do a dot build, right? Now here's a problem. Now you're getting the class level annotation, which is slash messages, that's good. But now if you get the annotation at the method level, you see here there is a variable portion here. So there is something called message ID, which maps to whatever request is coming in. Now, what we need here is that message ID to be replaced with the actual ID of the message. The way to do that replacement is using a method called resolve template. A resolve template takes in two arguments. The first argument, which is a string, lets you specify what's the name of the variable that you want to replace. The second argument specifies what's the value you want to replace it with, right? Now, the variable portion that you want to replace is message ID. So that's going to be the first argument. And then the value that you want to replace it with is message dot get ID, okay? So now, it's going to take this variable portion, which is message ID, and replace it with the actual ID so that you get the actual URL for this message instance. Now I do a dot build and then convert it to a string and send it back. Now it should have the actual comment. Let's test this out. So it has a link to comments, web API slash messages slash one slash comments. So this looks good. Let's make sure it works by making a call to the other message. It gets replaced with two. This gets replaced with two. We are replacing the template, right? So this is a brief overview of HATOS. It's not the most elegant way. As you can see, we are doing a whole lot and it's very much tied to the kind of classes and the kind of methods that you have. Uh, let's say you change this method name to something else this is not gonna work, right? Because you're specifying the method name here. So it's not very elegant, but this is the way you can do this in pure JAXRS. There are some other alternatives. For example, instead of using this link class that I created on my own, you could use something that comes with JAXRS. Here you see a class called link in the Java docs. It's rs.core which the description says, this is a class representing hypermedia links. This link may include additional parameters like rel or type. This looks like it's perfect for what we want, but I found this to be a little bit buggy depending on which converter you are using, right? Right now we're using Moxie to convert from link to JSON. I found this buggy at times. So it's my personal preference to use my own custom class which contains only the properties that I want so that it's it's more flexible, right? I can add and remove stuff that I want. But you can potentially use this link class and use a list of this link instances rather than your own custom link instances. So I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next tutorial.